Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, tonight I'm going to do another pearl pour. I'm going to make sure I get it right this time. So, I do get pearls, but I don't get many because I always skimped on the pearl colour. This time I've decided I am not going to skimp. I'm going to use enough of it because I feel like I was, I didn't have very much of the pearl, the pearl colours, so this time I thought, no, I've got more delivered, so I'm just going to make sure that I use enough to get enough pearls, because I just, I felt like my, by me skimping on the pearl colour, I just wasn't getting enough pearls, and I want a really cool one. So... So the paint thickened up a little bit, so I just had to add a bit more to it. So what I have is, I have 35 grams of um, Deco Art Americana. Where did I put it? Oh, I put it back away in its box. Deco Art Americana Metallics in the silver. So I've used 35 grams of that mixed with 35 grams of um, Floetrol and then I just did that tiny little bit extra which might have been probably 4 grams worth, 3 or 4 grams. I just, I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> and my paints are Montmartre. So I have light purple, purple white um phthalo blue or phthalo blue I, I don't know how to pronounce that one and black so the blue the purple and the light purple i mixed in 25 grams of paint and 50 grams of flow troll so these three are in total 75 grams worth the black and the white I just did 10 grams of paint and 20 grams of flow troll. So I don't want a lot of black or a lot of white. I just want a little bit in there just to mix it up a little bit. But I mostly want the colours. I, I, if I use too much black, it turns my whole painting very, very dark. So that is it. Montmartre Paints. Extreme Sheen. Oh no, sorry, not Extreme Sheen. Um, Deco Art Metallics. Pearl colour and 16 by 12 canvas and my jug. So I'm just going to get stuck into it. Um, what colour do I want last? We'll go this one here. So I'm just going to go approximately a third. I want to get some defined lines, so I'm just going to, I'm going to try and do three layers if I can. And again, the white and the black, it's just a little bit in there to mix it up a little bit. So just trying to use a third of the paint, which I always seem to be a little bit heavy handed in my first layer. Try not to be, but it always turns out that I'm a bit heavy handed. So, as you can tell, I like purple, but I also wanted to use the purple because I'm doing the silver extreme sheen, I mean, silver metallic. It will give the, when you use a silver, I find it often takes on the colour of the paints. So I wouldn't mind if the silver's got a purple tinge or a bluey tinge to it. I prefer that than um, if I was using a gold or a different colour, I probably would have gone for a warmer colours.
But yeah, I decided this time that I want to make sure I get lots of pearls. So again, my paints have thickened up a little bit because of the cold weather. I'm really looking forward to it becoming not hot, but more spring-like weather. It's usually about this time we get a little bit over the winter weather. I also live in a very hot climate, so... Um, the cold is not always fun for us here. If you, if you come from America, you'll probably notice that a lot of people in California, like Los Angeles and that, don't like the cold too well. Well, it's similar to where I live. We're just not used to it. But it does get quite cold here at night time. And it changes my paints, this cold weather. So I'm not as keen on it. So it's going to be good having this little bit of white and little bit of black in there to give it some contrast. I just don't want it to take over. Alrighty, nearly there. Sorry if I'm boring you by pouring paints, but I wanted to show you exactly how I did it this time. Sometimes I do it off camera, sometimes I do it on. Just gives you the option of the people that are still learning to watch the whole thing and learn how to layer them and what to actually do. Because I get a few people message and say that they want to see the whole process and um, at least this gives you the option of either skipping forward to the actual pouring part or watching the whole process all the way through. So I'm on my last bottle of Floetrol, so I have to get more of that too. I notice I use it a little bit more in my artwork. At the very beginning I used it a lot and then I started using more glue and now I'm back to using more Floetrol. So, I'm gonna, actually I'll pour out the silver first. Just give it another stir. I so hope I get lots of pearls. And this is a nice silver, this one. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. All right, gloves are on. So we're gonna pinch this, the side that I poured it in. And I'm trying to think if I should do a ring or a jiggle. I believe 
I may do a ring. Sometimes I find the jiggle, I don't do the jiggle always the right way. So if I do a ring this time, hopefully that will help. Yeah, see that? Didn't use a lot of black, but it still likes to take over. So we just keep going around in a circle. As the paint slows down, you get a bit closer and try not to, you, you tighten your circles up a bit. See how I used a lot less black? but there's still a lot of black in the canvas. That's why I have been a little bit hesitant with using the black when I do pores. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of paint this time. Cool, so I'm gonna go that way and get this black off first. So one, two, three and tilt up and over bring it down to this corner i'm glad i put the white with the in between the two darker colors because it has lightened up the blue and giving me some different colors of blue, not just one major blue color. So I hope I'm still on camera for you guys. Up and over. Yeah, glad I got rid of that black as the first because now it's lightened up the whole painting. I've got hold of my push pin with my finger underneath. All right, come on. Over. And then I am, sorry, I'm just bringing it back until I've got the center roughly where I want it to be. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Look at all that silver that's fallen off. No! <laughs> I'm gonna touch up this corner. This last lot of canvases I got seems to be a little bit of a not as good a batch as the last as the first lots I was getting. They just seem a little bit like they've skimped a little bit on the quality. Oh, so I'm getting pearls all over my gloves. How beautiful. So I can definitely see pearls coming up. Yay. So now these gloves are off. Wipe my hands a little bit. I'm going to do a quick scrape and then I'm going to torch because I don't want it to pull off more paint. Because I always get real cool pearls all over the edges. And I don't want them to disappear. Okay. So that's that. 
put it this way, even if I don't get a lot of pearls, it's actually a pretty nice um, ring pour. So I'm a little bit pleased with that. So I'm just making sure I'm getting some bubbles. And then I'll do more heat from up high. So, I definitely got pearls on all four corners, which is fantastic. When I started doing the pearl pours, I always got pearls, but I didn't get a lot. And I, I believe it was because I was skimping so much on the pore colour, um, the pearl colour. I just... I just didn't have a lot. It was it was really hard to get hold of and I couldn't actually buy much. So I think I was just being a little bit skimpy on it. But then you're paying so much money for all this other paint that you actually might as well use that couple of extra little bit of pearl, uh, pearl colour. Otherwise you're, you're spending a lot of money on paint and not getting your, your desired results. So sometimes you're best to just do that little bit more and get the results that you're after. So I can see more pearls coming up. They, they often do take their time. They're not something that magically appears straight away. But I'm, I'm actually really, really happy. I've got enough colour in this that um, I'm really pleased. I love the uh, ring pour pattern and the pearls are just a really cool added bonus. And having them around the whole four edges, to me kind of frames my ring pour. Kind of makes the ring pour look like it's put into, into position. So it doesn't look like I'm going to get much more from using heat. I think maybe now um, what's just going to give me more pearls is time. So I won't be doing a close up just yet. I will be pausing it and letting more pearls come up and then I'll be coming back to do the close up. So. That's enough of that noise. Must drive everyone mad. I'm super, super happy. So I'm really excited. I'm kind of doing a real funny dance here. <laughs> so the pearls have come up all the way along here, across the bottom, all up the side and along the top. So my top. Um, the ring is quite well defined. You've got quite a few different colours that are coming through. It gets really pretty over here. Um, we've got a lot more blue over this side. The darker purple here and the lighter purple here. That's where some of the black has mixed in with it. Um, it's, it's mixed with the colour, but it hasn't gone muddy muddy. It's just kind of blended a little bit. The pearls over here are getting, um, some are getting a purple tone and some are getting a blue tone. You can just tell that inside of them, they're, they've just taken on a bit of the blue colour. But that's absolutely fine. I'm so happy. I'm really, really liking this. I like it how it looks a little bit spacey. Um, I like outer space, I like science fiction, that's something I've always enjoyed. So this suits my, what I, I like, down to a T. So, yeah, I think we're just going to have to put it on pause, come back a little bit and see if I get more pearls come up. They're definitely, they're definitely taking the whole, all the edges. So, 
um, and continue to scrape. Do not let it take all your pearls away by running them off the edges. You just want to make sure that you're continuously doing it. I check my paintings every five minutes until um, they stop doing it. Because the last thing you want, I used to have lots of paintings that I did them, I walked away, and then later on I'd come back and I'd go, what happened to my painting? Until I realised what was actually happening um, when it was dragging all my paints off the sides. And especially in like an inch or between one and two inches, all the edges were getting real stretched. And I figured out what, what it was also by watching videos and people mentioning what, what happens. So, excellent. So I'm going to pause it, tidy up my bit of mess, and I'll be back in about five or seven minutes. Okay, and I'm back. So I can't, <laughs> because I haven't been looking at it, I think there's more pearls, but um, I can't actually tell. It's easy when I look back and watch the video, because when I pause it and then unpause it, suddenly it goes from being smaller pearls to more pearls. But again, I'm super, super happy. I couldn't be more thrilled. So, I did use a fair bit of um, the metallic paint, and I've got pearls that I like. I, I don't want a canvas where I've only got that much of a picture and the rest is all pearls. Um, sometimes they look nice when I've seen other people do them, but I want the pearls to be a feature, but not the dominant part of my, of my pore. I really want the, the pore to be the picture, and I want them to be the added bonus, which I think this has come out exactly how I wanted it to. It's given me, if, if I had a little bit more pearls, I wouldn't be disappointed, but I wouldn't want a lot more. Um, if I got pearls up to here, I would have lost this area, which um, I love, and I would have just had this one patch here, which would have meant there would have been too much of the light purple and not enough of the other picture. But to me, this definitely looks um, interesting enough where the, the ring paw is the feature and these pearls just set it off to make it um, fantastic. So that's how I see it in my eyes. Everyone will see things slightly differently um, and, that, and that's the, the bonus about art. We all look at it in slightly different ways. I'm not getting very much more paint off by scraping. I'm getting a little bit, but I think it's mostly done. It's um, dripping off the edges. I would have loved, so because it's winter, my trays underneath aren't drying. Normally in summer, I was peeling it off and it was a nice, clean, fresh tray every day that I used it. But because the paint's not drying, I've actually got too much paint from like last night's pour where the silver and that ran off. If this tray was clean um, and only tonight's pour would have come off, I would have moved the canvas away and I would have dipped stuff into the metallics and the colors that poured off the edge because that would look really cool. I would just get some rocks um, and just dip them in. I would probably use, um, I've put them away like little animal shapes that you get on MDF. So I would have just dipped them in just to, to make something interesting. But I won't be able to do that. Um, I was thinking about it, but I think there's just too much um, older paint there that will kind of mess it up a little bit. But my tray has some fantastic pearls coming up in it. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'll bring you down for a closer look. But yeah, please leave comments. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Um, share my videos. I, I really would like other people to see um, differences. And I, I'm i just enjoying this so much. And I want to be able to show people what I'm doing. So I'm going to pause it and bring you down. So there we go. This is my view. And that ring paw is fantastic and those pearls are stunning. So I can't be happy. I'm 
probably going to do a little jiggle dance. I'm not the best dancer, but I'll do a little off camera. <laughs> so there is the ring. And as you can see, it's got some nice colors coming through it. The white and the blue made a nice light blue in this area here. So that's kind of cool. Kind of looks a little bit like it's been spun, but it hasn't. But yeah, here we go. Pearls, oh, focus camera. There we go. Pearls all down the edges. As you can see, like with this one here, it's got, they got blue in them. So they, especially silver always takes on some of the other colors. Um, some of the other ones do as well, but the silver seems to be the main one that does it. So definitely I've got pearls all the way around. Some by themselves, some in a bunch where they push into each other and change their shapes. Some of these pearls have got the, the black tone coming through into them. But yeah. And that ring turned out fantastic. So I'm super, super happy. Sorry, I know I've said that too many times now. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a great night. Bye.